Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol LMFA. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time, Frank, and it's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price. And in this situation, makes mapping out a, a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was, all the way down here going into the day, and then the price closed right there. Granted, yeah, I know it did pull back from its highs, but still, compared to where it was, compared to where it ultimately closed, any rational person would say, yeah, the, the bulls definitely made a good solid move on the day. However, this does lead to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength, or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at, uh, let's see, what is that? 70 cents. Why is 70 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is going to progress forward. The price is not going to go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not going to go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly. So with that in mind, think about 70 cents. Any sort of breaks below there or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that big old range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price rolls back over, not saying it will, but pulls back, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down here. If you picture each of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, quote unquote, make progress, I'm defining as 70 cents. As far as levels of resistance, I'm not even gonna touch on those because in my opinion, top priority, because yeah, the pullback today was pretty big, but so top priority, therefore, in my mind, is more so just making sure that this pullback doesn't spin out of control. And again, out of control would be, you know, breaking down below 70 cents. So let's just focus on going through a healthy consolidation, building some higher stair steps. And again, that higher stair step being 70 cents. So let's see what the bulls have in store. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.